the liquid out of this vessel here. They're very clearly marked. This is liquid. The blue one's vapor. The bottom of the cylinder instead of the top, but um, made a lot of noise. Doesn't doesn't hurt anything. Just got me excited. Okay, so this just plugs into here. This one now will plug into. Oh, for, sorry about that. Forgot about my little tail. that bad boy up. Ooh. Okay, this about 220 PSI on the regulator. We want to fill it the first time. I, I didn't check the truck yesterday. Who drove it over to the other side today? The other one that was filled yesterday. Everybody looked, who drove it? We're going to check that pressure today. They want us to load it with up to 220 PSI. The vessel pressure is rated for 260, okay? It takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to boil down and get situated and let it equalize. It should end up at between 140 and 160 PSI probably in a couple days, okay? So we'll look at it tomorrow morning and see what it's at. So we're at 220 PSI. I gotta open my vapor into here. Okay, I'm going to let the uh, Halotron out of here. Make sure everything's closed. And I'm gonna open my liquid on here. And watch this hose start jumping around on you. Now we need to send, oh. You're going to shut off the liquid, then shut off the vapor. Get them both shut off so they're disconnected from the truck or from the thing. We can bleed the, the pressure off the vapor line over here. It's closed off right here and we can bleed it off. We got a bleeder valve right there. We just bled off the vapor pressure off the inlet side. Okay. Put pounds of pressure inside the vessel. So we're going to use the rest of our argon out of here and we're going to rehook up to the fill station and we're going to repressurize or increase the pressure to about 220 psi. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect the liquid one here. And I just got a little liquid on me. Okay, we we learned yesterday though it's not a big deal. Wash your hands when you're done. Rehook up the vessel or the vapor or the argon. Okay, and we're gonna recharge this to 220 psi again. That's what it says we're at. Close the valve. And I'm gonna open it up. Keep an eye on that gauge in there for me. Shouldn't take us very long. It's time to reload the process. We know the average fire department doesn't do this very often. Less than 1% of firefighters actually use Halotron, okay? So if it does get used, we know you're not gonna have remember how to do it, so we labeled off a step-by-step -step process on how to do this, okay? Down to how simple it is, is close Halotron main tank valve, okay? Here we go. Here we go, and watch this pressure go. It should jump up to between 1750 and 2400 PSI, whatever this bottle's at when she's all said and done. Okay, so she's all the way open. There we're at 1875. It'll probably stabilize at 2200 somewhere in that ballpark. Typically is where they typically go to. Okay. 
So on your daily checks, 